God. I, he promised. He'll take care of the sparrow. What much more will he do for you and I? I believe he'll do so much more. I believe God loves us. He created us, took us in his own hands, and, and made us, and molded us in his image. Of course, there's some tonight, they need to get back on the anvil, on that potter's wheel, and let God redevelop yourself. Let him mold you and make you again into the image that he's called you to be. I can tell you tonight, amen, that God wants to do that. Amen. But we have to come to God and believe and trust God to do those things and know that He will. Amen. Romans 14 and 23 says, And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Amen. Big words. Hallelujah. Whatsoever is not a faith is sin. Brother Johnny, no matter what we go through, we've got to keep trusting God. Amen. No matter what we're facing, we've got to know that God's bigger than the boogeyman. Amen. Amen. We've got to know that God's got the upper hand. Amen. And we're, God's favor is upon our life. Amen. Because we love him and he loves us. Amen. And we trust him and believe in his word. Amen. And no doubt he's going to allow us to go through some things. He did Job. Amen. And his family. Amen. And Job experienced some awful things. But Job did never give up. And you and I can't give up either. We've got to keep the faith and keep trusting the Lord and know that he'll take care of us. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Even so, faith, if it had not worked, is dead being alone. Amen? Without works, it's dead being alone. Amen? Let me read this little story to you. Help you out a little bit. Amen? Since has Jesus saved you, the man was asked, I don't know, was his reply as he sat on the front pew, tears creaking, streaming down his face. I just don't know. It was puzzling. For months the church had prayed for him as he come forward all rejoiced with a sense of relief all but him. I've done all I know to do, he cried in anguish, but still he wasn't sure. The man left without assurance. Two weeks later he came forward again with a smile of heaven on his face. He had attended another church and they had sung, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Then those electric words turn on the light just to take him at his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what you and I, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Amen. Me too, brother. Yes. brother Johnny, we just got to take him at his word. Amen. Maybe that's your word tonight. Amen. You just got to take him at his word. Amen. God knows what he's doing. Amen. He knows what's in store for you and I. He knows what's ahead of us. Amen. He knows what's behind us. Amen. And he tells us to not look back. Amen. For the man that looking back is not fit for the kingdom of God. We've got to quit looking back. Amen. We've got to learn to press our way forward and trust God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body. And I'll guarantee you, whatever it you've been wrestling with, whatever it is, amen, that you haven't struggled with, amen, I've always liked to say it like this, if you'll quit struggling, amen, and begin to struggle, amen, you'll be a whole lot better off, amen. What do you mean by that? Just get along with Jesus, amen, and let him hinder and take yeah. care of all the hindrances in your life, amen. He's an on time God, amen, and he cares for you, it concerns you, it concerns him. I can tell you tonight, amen, God loves you, amen. This is found in John 6, 28 and 29. It says, Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might 
work the works of God. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on Him who He has sent. Believe on Jesus. How many of you in here say, Well, I do believe on Jesus? Come on, brother, yes. I do. Yes, Amen? I do. But yet, I still find myself at times struggling and not snuggling. Come on, brother. You know what? It's easy to struggle in this old world. It's easy. Because there's heart hit, heart, heartaches, there's struggles, there's trial, there's tribulation, amen. There's nothing really good in this old world. Amen? Yep. Nothing really to look forward to. Amen? There's things that we like to do and we find enjoyment out of, but it's only temporary. Amen? Maybe that's why the children sing that song. It's just temporary. What heaven has to offer Erica is for eternity. What God wants us to get a hold of will last forever and ever. It will never end, Rita. You and I had to believe in God. We had to put our trust and faith in Him, Sister Sandra, and know that He's God and know that He'll take care of it. Amen? But there's times our carnality gets in the way. You have to die so that God can live. Amen? How do I do that, Brother Derek? By sitting at the feet of Jesus. By spending time with Him, getting to know Him, and realizing who He is, amen, and knowing that He's an awesome God and that He's on own time God, that He'll not never leave you nor forsake you, amen, that He cares for you more than anyone that you can place these physical eyes. Now, I love my wife, and she loves me, but I'll tell you what, Brother Johnny, Love, God loves her more than I do. Yep. And he loves me more than she loves me. Amen. Y'all need to get a hold of that tonight and realize Come on, brother. that Great. God loves you more than anything. Amen. Great. He loved you enough to send his son. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know how many of you is getting this, but I'm giving it anyways. Amen. You can catch it. Amen. Or you can let it slide on by. Amen. On, but man. I can tell yeah. you what. It's good. Amen. Yeah, it is. Let me tell you, I don't care what the adversary has to throw at you. If you'll put on your spiritual armor, amen, and stand up, amen, with feet like brass and eyes like fire, proclaiming God's liberty in your life, there's nothing that the devil can throw at you. Amen. Listen to this. This is found in... Uh, uh, Ephesians 6 and 16 it says above all take the shield of faith what good is it to put on the armor without the faith brother George Amen, brother. yes <clears throat> works without faith is dead being alone yes it is well I trust God and I believe God you know what, Petey, when I stepped on that nail, if I would have believed like that boy was thinking, my foot, I would have ended up at the hospital yesterday, amen. Yep. And, and no telling how much it would have costed me, amen. And, and no telling how much kind of pain I was in, but, you know, I chose to believe God. Yes. Now, I'm not bragging on me, because I don't know what I'd have done if it had kept bleeding, amen. Well, Brother Derek, that's not walking by faith. Maybe it ain't. But you know what? I believe God was going to make it stop bleeding. He did. Amen. And that was walking by faith. Yes. Amen. Now if it hadn't walk, hadn't have quit bleeding, then you know what I would have believed? I'd have believed God wanted me to go to the doctor. Amen. Get something done about it. Uh -huh. I'm not against doctors. But I'm going to let God take care of it first. Amen. 
And I believe if God don't take care of it then, he wants me to go see somebody to get it took care of. Amen. And if he did, he'd tell me not to. Amen. That's what kind of God I serve. Amen. He's not going to lead me astray. Amen. He's not going to lead you down a crooked path, Brother Hines. Amen. But he said he'd lead you up a straight and narrow path which leads unto life. Amen. And few there be shall find it. Why? Because there's not many in this day and time that's walking by faith. Amen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can tell you, there's nothing great about me, Sam. So I'll tell you that. Sometimes she ready to pull my hair out. Oh, Amen. Good. Yes. If she could, she'd probably give me a black eye a few times, Brother John. Amen. Dot that eye. Smack me upside the head, I'd probably look like Gomer Powell or something. Amen. Come on. You know what, Johnny? She don't do that.